Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I am Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. This video will cover the system requirements for Hyper-V on Windows Server 2025. Hyper-V is a virtualization technology developed by Microsoft. It allows you to create and manage virtual machines on a physical computer. Each virtual machine acts like a complete computer running an operating system and programs. Hyper-V runs each virtual machine in its own isolated space, which means you can run more than one virtual machine on the same hardware at the same time. When you need computing resources, virtual machines give you more flexibility, help save time and money and are a more efficient way to use hardware than just running one operating system on physical hardware. Hyper-V is widely used in data centers, development environments and test setups to increase efficiency and resource usage. It's available as a part of certain Windows Server additions and it can also be installed on Windows 10 and 11. Hyper-V has specific hardware requirements and utilizing additional features will increase the system requirements you will have to meet. To run Hyper-V on Windows Server 2025, your system must meet certain general requirements. Let's discuss the hardware requirements. A 64-bit Intel or AMD processor with second-level address translation is required. You have to make sure that data execution prevention setting must be enabled in the BIOS. A minimum of 4 GB RAM. Make sure there is enough memory to support both the host system and all virtual machines running simultaneously. At least 32 GB of available disk space. Specific storage requirements depend on the size and number of virtual machines you want to run. If your system uses more than 16 GB of RAM for specific operating system features like hibernation, additional disk space will be required. It is recommended to use SSD for better performance, especially for disk I.O. operations in the virtual machines. At least one network adapter is required. The use of multiple network adapter is recommended for network redundancy and performance. You have to make sure that virtualization support must be enabled in the BIOS or UEFI. Now let's review the software requirements. Hyper-V installations are supported on Windows Server 2025 standard, data center and core additions. Ensure that Hyper-V integration services are installed and updated on the virtual machines for optimal performance and functionality. This is only needed in the old versions of Windows operating system. In addition to hardware and software requirements, there are a few additional considerations to keep in mind. Before deploying Hyper-V, make sure your hardware is compatible and that all firmware and drivers are up to date to effectively support virtualization features. Windows Server 2025 supports up to 2048 virtual processors for Gen 2 virtual machines. With Windows Server 2025, Gen 2 virtual machines can now support up to 240TB of RAM. We are not covering the requirements for specific features such as discrete device assignment and shielded virtual machines. We will cover those topics when we configure and use those features in Hyper-V later in this video series. To verify if your system meets these requirements, you can run the system info command in PowerShell or command prompt. Right click on start menu and select terminal admin. Type command system info and press enter. Review the Hyper-V requirements section in the output. If all listed requirements show yes, your system is capable of running the Hyper-V rule. If any item shows no, you will need to adjust your system configuration accordingly. If your system meets the requirements discussed in this video, you can deploy Hyper-V on Windows Server 2025 without any issues. In our case, all those four settings are set to yes. That means we can deploy Hyper-V server role on this Windows Server 2025. That's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in comment section. Stay tuned for the next video where we will walk through installing the Hyper-V role on Windows Server 2025. Thank you all for watching this video. See you next time.